she was just a walking down the street singing do what did it did it done did it do tapping her fingers and shuffling her feet singing welcome back to the five we're going to still keep on 2012 and we're going to turn our focus now to herman cain who gained a lot of a momentum in the uh, Florida straw poll and after the debate last week. He's kept a steady base of support. And uh, Andrea, in a Zogby poll that was mm -hmm. just released, he is considered the top choice. 28% of poll respondents said they would go for him. And then Perry and Romney come in at 18 and 17%. Ron Paul at 11%. Interestingly, Michelle Bachman, Newt, and a few others, like Huntsman, not even mentioned. What, do you think that Herman Cain actually at this moment is the front runner? Um, for this very snapshot, yes. Um, I think this means bad news for Mitt Romney because you think about this, he's campaigned a lot in Florida in 2008 and now, and voters didn't vote for him in that Florida straw poll. They had the opportunity after they saw Perry peter out after the debate, and they didn't. The support went to Herman Cain. That's a good sign, but he needed to win that straw poll to stay alive because he's using it now, as you see, for earned media. He can raise money off it. And I think he's also hoping the strategy um, is that his book comes out in October, and the money yeah, he makes okay. from that will be the money that he can That's use to stay alive in this campaign. He was on Greta last night, and we have um, some sound from that that we should take a listen to because he talked about how much of the black vote he would be able to get. I believe, quite frankly, that my campaign, I will garner a minimum of a third of the black vote in this country and possibly more, especially after what the president did recently when he was addressing the black caucus. Okay, I was curious, Leslie, uh, what, do you what do you make of that? Because you were shaking your head that it's probably not possible, but is a third really too much to ask? Well, actually, once again, anytime there's just split fragmentation, you know, among voters, among the GOP, you know, we liberal Dems love it. I need a, I need to call 911 about his 999 plan, okay? <laughs> uh, Herman Cain has a message, and I think a lot of people, even on the right, are a little bit confused how that would play out. So I don't think he's really uh, credible, quite frankly, with the third. And I don't, and I know a straw poll doesn't always translate into votes. And I think that what was happening in Florida is they were sending a message to both Romney and to Perry. And, th and think about but it, though, guys. Debates, you know, when, when Kerry and Bush debated three times in a row, Kerry did kick former President Bush's butt, but America voted for former President Bush. But what's wrong with 999? Right. That's exactly how I remember it. <laughs> um, hey, uh, That's what the poll show. Let's go on to Newt Gingrich. Can I just say yeah, something? I, I want to say something that the, what's refreshing about Herman Cain is he doesn't represent race. He represents a generation. When you look at him, you think, hardworking, up from your bootstraps, I got here on my own. And he represents it so well that when you hear him talking, you go, that's what makes America so awesome is when he's talking. He doesn't represent a civil servant. He doesn't represent the government. He represents you know, the beauty of capitalism. I hear double and, and that, pizza, a pizza expert, double cheese, yes. extra cheese, you know what, I'm extra hoping, that's I'm what I hoping he, I just got a free pizza out of that. I hear a, a guy who Plus came all those from business who has the right, the only uh, person in the whole field on the right or the left, Obama included, with the right idea on taxes. 999, Leslie, is very simple. 9% personal income tax, 9% corporate tax, and 9% uh, uh, capital gains tax. Everything is 9%. But what happens if he's not in for after? four years. What happens with the next president, the, the next administration? And the next president. And but they can by, put by a two-thirds vote anyway. in the you Senate. And anyway. But can't think about the anyway. huge tax hike that, that Americans would be uh, subject no, to. No, this would be a tax uh, decrease. This no, if he has 999, doesn't get reelected, and then the next administration left or that's right. A nice, says, that was that's crazy. A, it's an interesting Boom. scare tactic, actually, that you could use on that. But if you have a two-thirds vote and the people agree to it in the Senate, then it's, it's almost impossible to get a two-thirds or a three-fourths, well, two-thirds vote in the, in the Senate. But it could, it could happen, so he's got some uh, to, to explain that. I want to get to a, another candidate, which is Newt Gingrich, who picked up an endorsement from Tea Party founder uh, Judson Phillips. We have uh, some sound from that from earlier on America's Newsroom. There were certain criteria I was looking for. Somebody who's conservative, somebody who's electable, somebody who's got some national experience, and most importantly, I was looking, with, looking for somebody who's got vision, not only to be able to dismantle Obamacare when they get elected, but to start to work on dis, uh, dismantling big government. And when you start looking at all the really great Republican candidates are out there, there's really only one who fulfills all those, particularly the vision requirement, and that's Newt Gingrich. Well, okay, Greg, I wanted to ask you something, because I've known Newt Gingrich, uh, or at least uh, of him, for... <laughs> 
longer than I'm going to care to say. <laughs> but what's interesting is, so you might think of him as like the establishment Republican candidate, but then he just got the Tea Party endorsement. How, how do you swing that? Because in his heart, Newt is a bad boy. <laughs> he's a bad boy. He's the, you know, he was, you know, he's always been kind of a rascal. He's a visionary, but he's also <laughs> arrogant. And that's the problem. You can't reconcile his vision with his personality, which is always going to be the challenge. Yeah, but his rascalness and his bad boy on the other side might be the reason that he's not doing But he's not going to cut Medicare or entirely wipe out health care reform. Can we just point out the Tea Party isn't a one cohesive True. group. This is Tea right, Party absolutely. Nation. Granted, this guy was one of the first Tea Party uh, organizers, uh, Judson. Yeah, Judson mm -hmm. Phillips. All right. However, he doesn't represent the Tea Party. And, right. and, and if there were a cohesive group called the Tea Party, they would never back new gamers. No, absolutely. He is establishment. Yeah, well, I, I, agree, I agree with you. Eric. Big government establishment. Mm. But I think <laughs> <laughs> alert. Yes. Right? No kidding. <laughs> the, the one thing that's interesting, we mentioned Michelle Bachman, and just quickly wanted to ask you, Leslie, um, do you think she has? Her campaign is Peter. Guys, out. Like all snickering because of uh, all right, during the break. You guys taped it probably. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dana. Could you repeat the question? Well, uh, <laughs> do you think Michelle Bachman's campaign is petering out, or does it have some momentum? I'm teasing. I actually do think that her. I think that she is petering out, and the reason that she is petering out is because it's become a contest, unfortunately, between right now at least uh, Mitt Romney and Rick Perry, and she knows that. Yeah, I, one of the things it's also real. that we haven't talked about, and we're, we're, I'm going to have to go, but I'll mention, is that pa uh, Sarah Palin's uh, PAC chief says she's on the verge of deciding, so we could have that announcement soon. More the merrier. So we're for us. Just keep it going. Coming up, we're going to bring you brand new developments in the fight to repeal Obamacare, the case making its way all the way to the top to the Supreme Court. Stay with us. The five will be right back. Sorry. Everybody.